the queen bent on eradicating Sussexes, as they badgering her to create the new title for them. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been stripped of their duties, as Buckingham Palace confirmed that the pair will not be returning to work as members of the royal family after they relocated to America. Following conversations with the Duke, the Queen has written confirming that in stepping away from the work of the royal family it is not possible to continue with the responsibilities and duties that come with a life of public service, a statement said. While all are saddened by their decision, the Duke and Duchess remain much loved members of the family. Now, what he says is that when Prince Philip died last April, the Sussexes allegedly demanded that the Queen create a unique title specifically for them where they wanted to be the Prince and Princess of Edinburgh. Now, we want to point a couple of things out here. First off, there is no Prince and Princess of Edinburgh. As you can see, they, the Sussexes, weren't confused and didn't want the Dukedom of Edinburgh. Hopefully, Charles will do the right thing and bestow the title upon his youngest brother, Prince Edward, and sister-in-law, Sophie. The second point we want to make is we're not sure whether we believe it. It's too outlandish even for the Sussexes. Though, there are strange rumors out there. If this is true, we need to think about the reason behind this outrageous demand. It's an easy one. Harry and Meghan want to be seen on the same level as William and Catherine when they become the Prince and Princess of Wales. One of the inevitable results of Prince Philip's sad death is a shake-up in the House of Windsor. And Prince Edward, who will in time become the Duke of Edinburgh, is bound to take on a more prominent role in supporting the Queen and, in time, her successor, Prince Charles. Prince Philip may not have been in the royal line of succession, but his importance to the monarchy was paramount, and his death leaves a huge gap to be filled. The title of Duke of Edinburgh has now been automatically inherited by Prince Charles. But, in a sign of the affection of the Queen and Prince Philip for their youngest son, it will be passed on to Prince Edward on the sad day of the Queen's death. This was made clear by the Queen in 1999, when Prince Edward married Sophie Rees-Jones in 1999 and was made Earl of Wessex. When Prince Charles becomes king, the title of Duke of Edinburgh will merge in the crown, meaning the title no longer exists. But Charles III will bestow on his youngest brother a new creation of the Duke of Edinburgh the fourth creation of the title since it was first bestowed in 1726. It makes perfect sense. Of Prince Philip's four children, Prince Edward has always been most closely associated with the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award, created by Prince Philip in 1956. In our opinion, we want to say that Harry and Meghan, if they did demand the Queen create a title for them, are only grasping at straws. Her Majesty isn't going to create a new title for them. Especially when they did an interview as her beloved husband of 73 years was told he only had weeks to live. It was this same tell-all where they called the entire family racist without naming names. They also threw Catherine to the wolves. Ultimately, this led to William having to attend her engagement to shield her from the press. The Queen also isn't at liberty of creating titles. Titles that are granted were already created and had gone defunct. Not to mention, what is the point of granting them new titles when they don't reside in the UK anymore and have done nothing for the monarchy? Moreover, Prince Edward is not only chairman of the awards committee. He has also won the awards gold medal for a 60-mile, four-day walk in Scotland. Earlier this year, he promoted the award on Sky News. Before Prince Philip's death, Prince Edward had already succeeded his father as president of the Commonwealth Games Federation. He opened the Games in New Zealand in 1990 and in Malaysia in 1998. This is all part of Edward's greater prominence in the royal family in recent years. Prince Andrew has stood back from royal duties after his disastrous involvement with Jeffrey Epstein. Prince Harry has gone into self-exile after Megxit.